Now, is a big fight between the two threes in Afrobeat in Nigeria. I think right now we need to clarify some other things so that we start understanding it from a different point of view. I'm forced to like make this video based on what I've been seeing online ever since uh, Whiskey came out to drag the video and now the, the video responded to Whiskey and that is quite, you know, disturbing at the time. A lot of people are saying that they need to keep quiet at this point because this may escalate down to the people that are around them and also their FCs. That is quite disturbing at the time. 30 BG versus you know, uh, Whiskey's FC, this is really getting mad at a time like this. And we need to help these guys to heal up. But Whiskey started the whole fight and even dragged Don Jazzy into the fight. And now people are saying that that is a disrespect on the part of Don Jazzy because Whiskey is not anywhere close to Don Jazzy by age or by age in the industry. That is something you need to understand. When you talk about the Niger music industry, Don Jazzy has contributed his quota to the music industry, which Whiskey has acknowledged from various interviews or at various interviews. But right now, Whiskey turning back at them is quite embarrassing and disturbing. Yes, we have to clarify a lot of things. Whiskey, David O and Burner Boy. These are the big threes, but Rema is saying that they are big force because you have to count him among these guys. And Rema is uh, Don Jazzy's artist and we have to respect that. Don Jazzy has been able to build a lot of artists with two different record labels. And one of his uh, record labels is the most successful record label in Nigeria right now, if not in Africa. And a person of Whiskey is trying to drag down such a person. That is a disrespect. Talking about Afrobeat, talking about the lives of Whiskey, David o and Bonner Boy, who is the biggest? That is the question. Who is better? That is what they are really asking. And some people are now coming up with a lot of theories, a lot of opinion on this, and we got to share it with you guys. Whiskey's biggest song is a collaboration with Drake. And Bonner Boy's biggest hits are samples. And you need to also understand that Davido's biggest songs are his. He owned them. And that is something we need to talk about. Because when talking about all of this, we have to talk about them in three areas. That is something I want to make sure so that you get to understand the big story right here. Because a lot of people are really confused in between Whiskey versus Davido, Davido versus, you know, Burner Boy, who is better. They're talking about Grammy Awards. The only artist among these three that has won Grammy Award to me is Burner Boy. That is something not co-winning Grammy Awards and sharing it like what Whiskey did recently sharing a Grammy Awards. He won, <laughs> he co-won with, uh, you know, Beyonce. That is out of it right now. You guys need to actually understand that among these three, David O has original songs that are hits. My money, my body. Why the two other persons either collaborations or they are having um, you know kind of samples? That is what a lot of people are really saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, removing collaboration, removing samples and all these things bring out their hits, which they did alone and measure up with the video. That is one thing a lot of people are really trying to, you know, set up on social media and the debate is on on Twitter right now. I'm a shooting star in a blockbuster. Talking about it in three dynamics or three aspects of it, one is money. When you talk about the reality is, it belongs to Davido because right now you will say that Davido owns those his songs. So those royalties are his. That is something you need to understand because it is always Davido is not richer than Whiskey. Whiskey is richer and all those kind of things. But you need to understand it based on this theory right now. And Burner Boy actually gave us a hint how much he paid for sampling, um, you know, last last using Tony Braston, he's paying off 60%. Mind you, Bonner Boy is getting 40%, lower than normal. That is, it's not even 50%. That is to show you that it is expensive to sample. That is what Bonner Boy has shown us. And Bonner Boy is one good artist, and we have to, you know, commend Bonner Boy on that. He's a fantastic artist. You know very good on stage when it comes to like you know stage presence and performance i have to give it up for Bonner boy based on his uh, background to understand but you need to actually understand that 
Burner Boy's hit songs are majorly samples. You know, anybody, he sampled Angelic Kiju, and last, last, he sampled uh, Tony Braston, on top of the word sampled, uh, you know, um, Brandy, and a lot of others. When you talk about whiskey song right now, you have to talk about One Dance with Drake. You have to talk about those he has with Drake are uh, his biggest, um, you know, strength. That is something. And when you talk about awards, you have to talk about collaboration with Beyonce. That is something you need to understand. But we are really looking at David o right now when we talk about all of this. So many haters on my Instagram. The realest is David o based on this uh, categorization because you need to understand that, you know, um, originality is something that we need to measure up in Afrobeat because we are telling African story with Afrobeat. But when you do that under the shadows of others, it's no longer original for me. That is something you need to understand by this whole thing. What are your own takes about this? I want you to put it in the comment section because a lot of people are really making stories around this. Another one to try. The last area of it is gatekeeping Afrobeat. You know, when you check this around right now, you cannot see somebody that sampled the Westerns are gatekeeping Afrobeat. You cannot see somebody that did collaborations, you know, with Westerners to win awards gatekeeping Afrobeat. That is something you need to understand. You have to rely on originality. The person gatekeeping Afrobeat among these three persons is David O for me. That is what I believe. What is your own opinion about this? Put that in the comment section so that we can talk and expand the topic. Recently, David O got a premium twerk from Choma on her birthday and that is really exciting a lot of people are being prepared with this while some other persons are really talking down on the video say how would you allow your wife to twerk for you is the video going to allow other chicks other girls out there to twerk for him that is the question you should be asking yourself or should we allow the video like whiskey my pocket, my money. You are savage. That is what you need to actually understand. Davido is one guy that I respect so much when it comes to this. He has faced a lot of, um, you know, challenges, a lot of dragons, you know, on social media ever since he got married to Choma or they started off their relationship. A lot of people are of the opinion that Davido is not supposed to be happy in a relationship. But right now, this guy is trying to keep it real and you guys are still attacking Davido. Why would you prefer somebody dating a baby mama or a side chick to somebody twerking for her husband that is the question i'm really asking a lot of people are really getting excited by this and that is getting interesting are we going to see collaboration of David O and Whiskey? Remember that they promised us in 2023 that they are going to have a joint tour. But right now, based on the things happening, I think it's never going to happen again. Six years ago, David O and uh, Whiskey actually performed Maya at the O2 Bristol Arena. That was really scintillating. Let's catch a glimpse. <laughs> What are your own takes about this? I want you to put it in the comment section so that you can talk about it further. Davido's Unavailable featuring Musa Keys has been certified two times platinum in Switzerland. That is a big congratulations to OBO at a time like this. Before I jump off, I want to say thank you guys for watching our videos and thank you for the love so far. If you are new here, you can click the subscribe button below, the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time we upload our videos.